can't be stingy with that bread because if you can't die with it, what you want to do? But I think a lot of these players, they fake it because they do stuff for publicity. They don't really do it because they know how it is when they came up. Like, they forgot where they came from, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, there's so many players that come from poverty neighborhoods that ain't giving back that it don't add up. It don't add up. Because, like, that was the whole point of you making it to the league. To help out the people that, you know what I'm saying, you grew up with. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't even in the league, and I give back, or try to give back. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know what I'm saying, it need to be like a, 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 a group effort to do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you pat doing shit, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. You got That's it. what I'm like, this nigga really couldn't have trained. Like, he said he would. And he, he, he knocked out, like, a couple of his bigger cities just to come here. That's real, though, because you got to hit this. You got to hit this, because kids be wanting to see. What they be seeing on TV, but the kid, the, like the NBA players, there's probably a couple of NBA players that's from Jersey, around that don't come. They ain't do, coming out here. They don't do that. They ain't coming out here. I mean, it's sad because like it's talent out here. They go to NBA, go to college, Florida, they New York, chilling. You forgot, like you said, you get where they come from. That money make you forget a lot of things. That's why it's, it's, you yeah, always gotta stay yeah. humble. You gotta be grounded. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, oh yeah. When I get to the money, when I get to the league, I'm gonna buy this. It ain't, yo, that money will kill you. Money, if people wouldn't get money, they don't be happy for real, for real. They be miserable. They don't be knowing what to do with that money. That's why they spend on all them girls that be, like, it be crazy. Like, but, you know, that's, they earned it. That's what they want to spend it on. They ain't going to, they going to lose out on everything else because you ain't going to die with it. So you ain't going to be happy with it. You know what I mean? So, my whole thing is, if you want something, go after that shit. Don't be sitting back like, damn, like, I wish I could have wrote. Because before you know it, you're going to be 15, then 16, then 17. You can make the difference, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you think in your mind that you want, you can get. As long as you put it on paper. That's the first thing I did with this basketball. Facts. I put it on paper. Like, nine moves, fan favorite. When I put it on paper, it start coming alive. But if you don't put it on paper, it won't come alive. Because in the, the day, like, you got to work towards a goal once you write it down. You guys said it so we, we met last summer, right, at this uh, Red Bull event, and we both just started talking. Like, everything he said he was doing, I was like, yo, that's everything I'm trying to do, too, I'm doing right now. So it's like, everything I'm doing for training, he doing it for Philly. But he doing it with boys, so I'm trying to work with everybody. Girl, right. Boys and girls. It's a boy, yeah, and you, you gotta appreciate her taking the time out to do certain things because she can be worried about her own type of career, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's a bigger, it's a bigger picture at the end of the story, you know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta play your part. Do what you gotta do. Get a petition, write it up tomorrow. Have a petition ready for people to sign. Yeah. Real right though. Like if you want that, if you want a basketball court in your community, if you write it up and you get people to sign it, they have no choice but to give you what you want. No choice. What they gonna tell a kid, you know? You know, ain't like you saying give me some paintball guns so I can shoot up people. You saying give me some basketball courts. Without the balls. You know what I mean? I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna get it. But if y'all, if you can bring y'all to the camp, come tomorrow. Like, cause it's gonna be a good day. Barbecue, all that. He giving me sneakers, bags, all this crazy stuff. It's a giveaway. Hey, it's free. It's free. I'm trying to it's free, like. I, I wish I had a bus, I'd take That's all of them. I was about to say, I said, I wish I, had a, I could like get a bigger car. I would just put bad people there. That's what I'm saying, like, but guess what? I mean, whoever can fit there can come with me. Yeah. Right. We need to get, <laughs> yo. We gotta get a bus. We need yeah. a, uh, a truck bus. or something. That's why I'm down my end. I, got, uh, I gotta get to that chicken. Cause it ain't right. This ain't right. Cause when you ask the seat, like, you see that they want to come in like personally ask it will cost. People don't got bread. But that's crazy. Everybody think it costs, but it don't like. But I'm never gonna do nothing to Philly bread costs again. Can't. You know, in the township, then I got the chart. But when you in Philly, I ain't <laughs> in the township. I got, got to. You go to Princeton, Hamilton, got, you got the chart. You got the chart because they know your worth. But in your own environment, it's like. You it's know what it's like. It's a need, you know what I mean? Like, but you still worth it, but at the end of the day, it's like you gotta get back. And that way God will bless you in ways that, you know what I'm saying, you may not think that he's blessing you, but you'll receive stuff. Like that's why I think like at the end of the day, like kids that come from where I come from, I gotta give them the gift for free. Gotta give them the gift for free. Like why not? 
Like, you know what I mean? But for real though, write that petition, yo. I'm gonna ask him to say you write the petition because if you write it, you can get it done. I'm telling you, I ain't saying this if you're saying it. Whatever I say, nine times out of ten, like if you go go through with it, you'll uh, win because I made a lot of mistakes and I know from my mistakes that certain things that you do in life that if you keep pursuing it, you can get. And that's something that you thought in your mind that wasn't some crazy, you know, um, um, some type of scheme thought that if you put it on paper, it'll come to life. I'm telling you. Go ask your friends who will sign it and do it. Because you can't waste that, man. Don't waste that out there at all. You can't, dog. Tell them, Keith. Tell them who you are. Oh, I'm Beast Man. Who? Beast who, man. Who's Beast Man? I bet you said Beast Man. Beast Man. Beast Man. Beast Man. I do, I do some trains. I do um, 99 Moves. It's a, um, it's a company designed to help, um, you know, people build brands, you know, um, be entrepreneurs, um, deal with financial, um, you know, issues that, you know, people may, may take advantage of people with. For example, you may got kids in the NBA that's, you know, talented, but dealing with money, they may not be, um, you know, um, equipped with handling it because sometimes you may make more money than you ever thought of making in your life. So if you got people around you that's saying, yeah, well, let me handle your money, let me do X, Y, and Z Good for you, here. they can be taken advantage of. Um, but at the end of the day, if you got somebody that's been through it and can tell you how to handle your money, you can you can live, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, you can spend money, but you don't got to spend out your means. Because what we do as black people, or as people that come from impoverished communities, we spend money that we don't really got, you know what I'm saying? So if you're making a million dollars and you don't know it's taxed, and they give you a black card, and you swipe and swipe and swipe and swipe and swipe and before you know it, your credit is damaged because you done spent all this money and you got to pay it back. You got the bills to pay. Like, just because you done spent the money don't mean bills ain't coming. You still gonna have bills, but that's why we get messed up because you see all these players that lose out on millions of dollars because they go broke, because they spend money they didn't have. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about the money. You got to secure that money. You got to make that money work for you. You can't just get the money and spend it. That's what they want you to do. They want you to still be a slave at the end of the day. Get the money, spend it, and owe them something. How many players you heard go broke? You ever seen 30 for 30 broke, ESPN? You got Netflix? Yeah. Go watch 30 for 30 broke on ESPN. 30 for 30. It'll tell you like how players went from having all the money to having no money and problems. You know what I'm saying? Because who wants to work their whole life on making it to um, a profession that they get paid crazy amounts of money and then go back to being in the hood. You can't do it. And that's why like people who didn't get back to their hood, they end up being back in the same predicament they were in when they first started because they never thought about giving back to the people that love them from the beginning. That's why you gotta love yourself first. Invest in yourself, you know what I mean? That's why you writing that petition to be investing in yourself. You gotta invest in yourself. Because if you're not, you think they're gonna, the politicians are gonna be here and say, well, let me, let me what's your name? Let me, huh? Huh? Little, little what? Hi, <laughs> Tariq. Little Tariq. Oh, let me get Lil Tariq basketball court. Lil Tariq better ask for a basketball court. <laughs> Lil Tariq better ask for that because if Lil Tariq asks for a basketball court, Lil Tariq will be shooting the trash can. You can get what you want. Ask. You know what I'm saying? But they want us to steal and all that. That's why I'm trying to tell you the game. You write it down, get people to sign it, harass them. Let's get another petition. You get five people, 500 people sign it, they get 1,000. Then get 15, then get 2,000. Keep letting the list grow. Keep letting, making it grow and grow and grow. Before you know it, they're going to have to give it to you because 2,500 2, signatures, that's a lot of power. You know what I'm saying? That's like, damn. That kid got 2,500 signatures. We got to get what he want. Because if we don't, what could he do? Flip that around. Oh, the reason why we got murders and trends because we don't have any outlets. You know what I mean? It turns into other things. They don't want that. We got to keep it real. You heard about the Mike Brown thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. uh, that was all right. Was Mike Brown was all right? No, Mike Brown got shot eight you times. Shot by the cops? Putting his hands up in the air. Even though he oh, might have been doing something that he wasn't supposed to be doing, they treated him like a dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, we not dogs. We, we human beings. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got to be conscious of what's going on. Whatever you find out, that's going on in the news, you gotta apply it to real life because that's what's going on in your world. It may not happen in your environment at the time, 
But that's your world. Like, that's like, you know how the cops be up in here? Mm -hmm. That's like one of them stopping you and just harassing you for no reason. And you got basketball. You try, you trying to go to the court. They could flip that whole story and make it something that is not. But it's their word, but it's your word. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got to you you be, be careful like how you how you out here in these streets. Like, yeah, you can hang with your friends and all that, but you still got to be careful. Like, Pick your friends wisely. Because no name on it. Pick your friends wisely. So it's like, as soon as I heard about that, I was like, I thought about you once. I know you be out here. And I'm like, I could just see like somebody trying to play basketball and get, getting caught up by accident. Or oh, wearing a hoodie from coming back from playing basketball. Right. Uh, or or arguing with your friends and y'all getting into like a little basketball argument and he come and try and break it up. You know what I mean? Oh, what y'all doing? Both what yeah, you gonna do? What's gonna happen after that? They both were aggressive. They had on hoods. They look like thugs. That's why I got make a stand, make a stand, make a chain and telling y'all need basketball. Like, you know, they may put a basketball, they make y'all free memberships to the YMCA.